How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, let me read this title to you. Black customers beaten with broom, sprayed with acetone, and brutal bra inside Brooklyn, excuse me, Brooklyn Nail Salon. Now, my royal family, I'm going to say some stuff that may piss people off. And I'm going to keep it core. All right? But I will reserve thyself. Because there's no need to read the article. Now, the article is there. And um, I'll put it there, you know, as a point of reference. But I have three videos to play for the royal family. I'm going to let this shit play out. And then um, I will render my voice. that on mute and we will continue on for East Flatbush where the community expressed a lot of outrage over a nail salon brawl between employees and customers it was caught on camera and the video has the borough buzzing News 12 Brooklyn's Tony Chow is there to fill us in it all started with a couple of unhappy customers which then led to a financial dispute but for long things got out of hand then turned violent. Christina Thomas and her grandmother felt anything but relaxed at Red Apple Nails. They say Thomas was unhappy with how her eyebrows were done, so they refused to pay for it. But the salon claims the family refused to pay for any of the services, including their pedicures. The dispute escalating into a full-blown brawl when all was said and done, both Thomas and salon worker Hui Yu Zhang were charged with assault. Shut them down! On Monday, the community demanded Thomas' charges be dropped and the other salon workers involved in the melee be arrested. After overwhelming pressure, the salon closed for the day. The protesters weren't done yet. Later in the evening, returning and marching to another nail salon by an almost identical name that they claim is owned by the same people. Their goal? To put a nail in this business's coffin. I wish every last one of them would get arrested. Yes. 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 And don't open another store in our community. Yes. And we don't yes. to act properly. Right. And the district attorney's office telling us they're examining some new videos in the incident and will evaluate the charges accordingly. In East Flatbush, Tony Chow, East 12, Brooklyn. And tensions were boiling over in East Flatbush where the community... Excuse me, my royal family, for that. And I'm going to play the last video here. Camera, a violent brawl at a nail salon in Brooklyn, a worker attacking a customer with a broomstick. Oh. The manager says it was self-defense, but now this incident is sparking protests over claims of racism. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg live this evening in East Flatbush. Lauren? Well, angry and concerned community members as well as police officers still on the scene here on Nostrand Avenue outside of that nail salon. There were no customers at the salon today while protests and a boycott took place outside, all stemming 
from a big melee that happened inside the salon on Friday night. They are protesting and boycotting a nail salon where this fight broke out Friday night between customers and workers. At issue, an unsatisfactory $5 eyebrow wax and a dispute about whether the customers had paid for their pedicures. I just finished the pedicure, just pay pedicure, it's okay. Uh, the eyebrow for free for her, no problem. But Abby Moses says her daughter Christina and mother Thelma had paid for their pedicures. Salon workers can be seen trying to keep them inside while police are called, but soon enough shoving, pushing, punching, and broomstick beating ensues. I want the people that hit my mother, hit my daughter, hit her friend, arrested, and I don't want anyone patronizing in this place anymore. Her 21-year-old daughter was arrested, as was 32-year-old Hoye Zhang, a salon worker, both facing numerous charges. This community activist says other salon workers should also be arrested. They need to be arrested for gang assault. Gang assault in New York State is when two or more people go and assault someone. So they need to be treated the way black people been treated forever. If it was a black salon and we did that to any party, we would be locked up. As police escorted other workers past the protesters this afternoon, a detective is hit with something. Later, the gates come down on the salon, but the protest and police presence continues. And no word yet on whether this salon will reopen tomorrow and whether any forthcoming arrests will happen. All right, my royal family, let me take this down. I don't want any pop-ups. Uh, let me go here because I wanted to show this picture. Go to my history. Let's see, what do I have here? Yeah, right here. So, this is what I want to say. We've been seeing our ass get kicked in the um, beauty supply stores by these people. Um, and this is the first I have seen our ass get kicked in the nail supply. And what I don't like, as long as I can remember, when some black folks get some money on the first, you run your dumb ass down to these people's businesses that don't like you at all. Now, wherever it lands, it lands. If you feel some kind of way about me saying what I'm saying, I'm talking to my sisters. Stay your ass up out of a place that don't like you. I hate that shit. I've been hating that shit before it was even a spotlight on it. It's like we get a couple of coins and we run into these people. They do not like us. They was beating the hell out of some of these sisters up in here with broomsticks to the point they could have killed them. See, anytime you see anybody instantly go into that uh, rage over five fucking dollars, it's a problem. These people will kill you over a penny. If you don't have the penny, you can't get what you need to get. Because there's a lot of them up here in the Bay Area. But I don't fault them. I fault my own. Now, black women like to get their nails done. There's nothing wrong with that. Sisters need to open up their own shit. And I know how hard it is for us to open up anything because they don't want us to have anything. But we need to stay the fuck up out of these places. And why do we always got to wait for some shit to pop off and then we get mad like this and we ready to go off? It's our fault. It's our fault at the end of the day. Now, I understand that they have manipulated us on some parts of certain things. But at what point are we are going to start looking at what the fuck that we are doing? When are we going to start looking at what we are doing? These people don't like us. Nobody like us. It ain't easy being chosen. No, it's not. My love ain't never changed. That's why you hear me speaking with the passion that I'm speaking with. But to see my own people get beat like a dog? Like a dog? And I mean, I mean, I mean, you put your heart and soul into beating us? What did we do? What we did was we showed how dumb.
dumb we are. And I don't like speaking like that to the royal family. I don't like insulting your intelligence. I, I always try to remain humble and I'm not proud. And I'm the first that will own up to any of my dumb shit or my petty shit. But this shit almost got me to tears to see my folks getting beat like this. It almost lets me know that it almost makes make me feel like did they practice this shit? One 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 of the women in there was gonna beat grandma. And then they're going to hold you down because they're worried about getting that fucking five dollars or whatever the thing. I don't even know what the care about what the story is. You had a dissatisfied customer. And those people is lying when they say they didn't pay because I know how they get down in those places. They want their money first because they do not trust us at all. We're just something to feed off of. That's all we is. Go to their country and see if you can open up something. They will dictate to you who you can advertise to. They will dictate to you even what kind of business you can have. But they know to come to our neighborhoods. They know to come to our neighborhoods and suck us dry. Everybody has lived off the backs of the royal family. We have built this country. We have literally built the world. And when, at what point, at what point are we going to stop patronizing people that hate us? Do your fucking nails at home. I can remember back in the day, like in the 80s and stuff, um, when the first and the 15 come and people would get their welfare. And I'm not saying we are... Um, the masses on welfare. Lisa Cabrera didn't debunk that so many th damn times. And you would just see droves of us getting the nails done, going to the cheap little store, getting them little cheap ass clothes and shit, go getting some old cheap ass dog food ass Chinese food and shit. And I was be like, damn, don't you got to walk? Make your own shit. You ain't living the life patronizing these people. The instant this is let, they letting you know how they feel about their customers. They customers. This is how they really feel. They will kill you over a penny. Stay the fuck up out of these places. Now, if y'all feel like I am touching on somebody, let me know how you feel. I ain't gonna take your shit off. But I'm just tired. I don't I can't soft shoe this no more. I just simply can't. I simply can't. I'm tired of my folks being dumb. I'm tired of people just mowing over us. It's a hurting thing when you know who you are and you continue to do the same repetitive shit. So render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shame. Mm -mm -mm.